Hey folks, we're here at Russo's Marina. It's February 1st. The weights were absolutely outstanding. I think we had a little over 30 boats for the ABA tournament. Pat and Joel Leeser pulled off the victory today with just under 29 pounds. Damn, I'm gonna get a bigger bucket. Keep this up. Keep them I think we got a new leader. 28-78. After 29 ten, they had 28 78 that'll work and you your big one was a little over 972 972 was the big one how'd you catch that big one Pat um, I caught that one flipping very nice yeah got him flipping and and we had a two pounder in that sack too so we had some solid fish no oh, you guys had some good ones did you guys catch quite a few fish today no I wouldn't say we caught a lot but the ones we did were good uh, we started out this morning throwing reaction baits spinner baits swim baits uh, chatter baits and stuff, and we caught we caught um, a limit pretty quick. We probably only caught 12 fish, I'd say, mm -hmm. throughout the day. That's all right. You guys caught the good ones. Pat and Joel Leeser, congratulations! That was Thanks, fantastic. Bob. Almost 29 right. pounds with a nine pound kicker on right. February 1st. The weights were outstanding today. There was two bags over 28 pounds. We got Isaac Budeslich and his partner. We're going to talk to them here in a second. We had 21.90. It took almost 22 pounds to get in the top five and get you a check in this particular event. So you guys did great. In second place today in the ABA event, right here at Russo's Marina, we have Isaac Budeslich and Mark Mendez. They had 2811. And I was listening just a little while ago, and you told everybody you guys caught 35 fish today. How'd that go? Um, well, you know, February, these fish are showing up, so they're coming out of the winter hole, so we uh, try to target the transition areas, and once you find those areas, it's pretty easy to get So um, we chose the trout pattern, swim baits, and the shad pattern, and uh, tried to stick to the secondary edge of the lead lines. And, uh, that's awesome. In January, I, we had very few days where it was below 60 degrees. It was unbelievable. It was awesome. How are you working with that? This awesome weather that we have in February. When you're going out and you're approaching the the river and you practice days. Um, really, I'm just paying attention to the water temperature. Um, you get you get some nice days and you get some bad days, but you're really looking for stability. And with the water getting into 54, 55 in the afternoon, now fish are getting super active. So we haven't found anything uh, bed fishing yet, so uh, we're just trying to stick stick to those edges, those transition edges, and that's just the thing. That's great. Isaac, great job. You and Mark were fantastic. That was great. Thank you very much for the interview. You know, it's crazy. I mean, you look at, we've had two bags over 28 pounds. Those are, those are the types of bags that usually win March events. It's February 1st. You know, Isaac and, and Mark and the, the leasers, almost 29 pounds to win this event. The river's in good shape right now. Looking forward to a fantastic February, and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. February 9th here at uh, the Delta Bass Club at Russo's Marina here on Bethel Island. We're gonna go over some results from yesterday. There was two tournaments on the Delta yesterday, uh, Saturday. One was out of Stockton, and one was in the south end of the Delta. Both of those tournaments, it took five fish for 16 pounds to win, and we had very similar conditions yesterday as what we have today. In the early 90s, when I used to fish with a good friend of mine, Kenny Schmidt, the first week, the first week of February, every year you could count on it like clockwork. If we had water temperature over 50, 51 for three, four days in a row, we could catch them on black buzz baits. I did that today for about an hour and a half. I threw my black buzz frog, never got a swirl, never got a swat, nothing. So things change fish cycle all that kind of stuff right but I'm gonna keep working on that buzz bait thing and I'll tell you what I know the 16 pounds yesterday two different tournaments to win today 11 almost 12 pounds for five Wow where are the big ones at last week they showed up 28 and a half pounds first place and second place amazing what one week can do out here on the Delta We've got Geronimo here from the Delta Bass Club we're here at Russo's Marina it's February 9th, and you guys just had a tournament here, and you tied with the Sean. You had a you had five fish for 11.20. Yeah. How did you catch your fish today? Uh, drop shot every single one of them. Um, I tried different. I tried rip bait, crank, spinner baits, sinkles. I couldn't get them, but I got them all in drop shot. Every single one of them. Everybody drop shots. Everybody kind of knows how to drop shot, but every you know. Everybody's got their own little personality with a drop shot. How long is the tag between your worm and your sinker? That's a big deal with guys. About eight inches apart. About eight inches, and eight inches, will, you can get by with that right now because the weeds are kind of suppressed and there's not, they're not real tall, but 
let's say it, let's say it was June first and you're drop shotting. How how much of a tag end do you have between your worm and your sinker? About twelve inches. About twelve inches. So you ex- I go a little bit higher. You go a little bit higher. Okay. I went out today. I got on the water today at about ten o'clock. I ran down towards Stockton. And so I got to fish for about four hours, four hours and 15 minutes right in there. And I fished some really good spots. I threw a rattle trap, I threw a BDS Lucky Craft crankbait, drop shot it a little bit, threw a jig a little bit, and I struggled to get six bites. And if I put my five fish on the scale, I bet they did not weigh eight and a half pounds. I had nothing over two and a quarter pounds. So it was tough today. And it was weird because we have this overcast sky and a little bit of drizzly and it, Air temperature's like 55, and they didn't chase anything. No, I, um, you know, I, I caught stripers, but I couldn't get anything on reaction bait. Okay, when I'm done with Sean, I'm going to talk to you about the stripers. I don't need these people to know where our new striper spot is, okay? <laughs> so, well, Geron- Geronimo, you did good today. Very good for your win. And I'm going to talk to Sean here. All right, we got Sean Kinnick here. He tied for first place. He is a non-boater. He had four fish today for 11.20. You had big fish at your tournament, but you only had four today. What happened to that fifth one? Struggled for it, man. Struggled for it. I uh, got six bites all day, just two. Uh, had a pair of fours, uh, swim bait fish today, and uh, it was a struggle. All right, big dog, congratulations. Good job today. We'll work on getting that fifth one. Hey folks, Bobby Barrick here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the proper way to dress in inclement weather. You know, the first part of the year that we have January, February, pretty cool, but there are times where it warms up a little bit. So you want to be able to dress in layers so that you can strip down like an onion. You can just peel things off so you, you can stay with that comfort level during the course of the day. The Sims Pro Dry Suit, awesome it's a thin shell it's got three it's got three layers to it with the Gore-Tex covering on it right deflects the wind keeps the rain off you keeps you dry keeps wet and it breathes that's the most important part you've got the extreme weather jacket if I'm running around at 50 miles an hour and my wind chill factor is between 15 and 20 degrees I don't want to feel that wind chill so my extreme weather jacket is a just a wonderful piece of equipment to have as you're bouncing around from spot to spot on your favorite fishing hole. The gloves, I'll tell you what, these gloves right here, these are, these are very, very key. When I'm running, I have the ability to cover my fingertips, ooh, or, and my thumbs also. There's nothing worse than having cold extremities on, the, on, the, on your hand, okay? And then once you get to your fishing area, you just tuck these babies in here like this, and you are good to go, all right? Just a quick tip, from Bobby Barrick and the Sims Clothing Company. All right, folks, here we are, February 22nd, here at the Angler's Choice First Tournament of the Angler West uh, Division. We got Harvey Pulliam and Jamon Andrews. You guys are on a roll, man. You guys won, you guys cracked like three or four tournaments this year so far. And this weather's crazy, right? I mean, it feels like it's June 1st, and it's it's like 75 degrees out here. These, these guys have caught them when it's cloudy. They've caught it when it's sunny. Caught them when it's windy. They've caught it when it's calm. You guys are on them. What are you guys doing that nobody else is doing? Just keep it generic. I know no, these guys I'm, got a, some no, cool I, secrets. I, we don't want to get too crazy. <laughs> no, it's all right. Um, honestly, it sounds crazy, but it's, it's really random. Um, you fish a spot for um, you know a couple of minutes. If you're getting you're getting bit, you get bit, and if not, you move on. Uh, we're doing a lot of junk fishing because that's just what the the weather denotes. Like you yeah. said, if it's cloudy, we're throwing reaction on windy banks. Uh, weed flats, we're throwing chatterbaits and rattle traps. Um, if we see a mat or something, we might punch it. If we see some sparse tulies, we'll throw a spinnerbait and some sinkos through it. And that's just really, you know, really, yeah. it's just yeah. being active, staying in good water, making sure that we fish, we are fishing good water. Current is important. And then uh, I'm going to say clarity. Clarity is really important too. So um, we're getting some good bites. Like you said, this is our third tournament in a row. That's huge for us. Me and Mark, my other partner, you know, we did really well. We never won three, so this is big for us. But, yeah, speaking of Mark, how's how's Mark doing? I ha- I don't get to watch a whole lot of TV. I don't get to spend a lot of time on the computer except for when the wife tells me to look at something. But uh, Mark Daniels, Mark Daniels is uh, FLW. He's out there on the tour. He's got the, the rig and the boat, and, and he qualified, and he won back there in Grand Lake in Oklahoma. He had never been there before. Went back there and whooped up on those boys and got him a ride on the FLW Tour, and that's where Mark is. And he was your guy, and I, Mark's a fantastic guy, and, and you and Harvey, and I know all you guys work hard together. And uh, congratulations. You guys are on a roll, and it's good to see. Keep it up.
the kickoff tournament here for Angler's Choice, Western Division. Armando Lazuriaga and his brother Edgar, they had big fish of the event today. There was a couple of fish over in that eight and a half, nine pound class. 928. You guys had the big one. I know you guys, you and Edgar have been out here. I saw you guys last week. You guys have been working hard. 2160. And you guys have been catching them. <laughs> I had a day last week. I had, I think we had like 18 pounds, and you told me you guys were up in the mid 30s. Yeah, we had uh, actually, we had three for 30. It was actually a pretty good day. It was rainy, storm. The conditions were right, and we had one of those phenomenal days. It was awesome. Now, today you said that uh, you, you had that big one and you had you lost a, a one or two too also. Yeah, I lost a bigger one than that. Unfortunately, it's one of those fish got away stories, but uh, yeah, we had a bigger <laughs> one and uh, we, we landed one good one. We're, we're lucky. That's awesome. That's the beauty of the California Delta. There's not a whole lot of bass fisheries in the United States where you can get bit by one, two, or even three fish in the double digit in one day. And you, you've done that a couple of times this year already. Absolutely. It's just been, when the storms come in, the fish bite, they've been biting. That jig bite's been good. The Sanko bite's been good. Chatterbait bite's been good. So we've, we've had about three or four good, good weeks that were phenomenal. That's awesome. That's Armando. Congratulations. And we'll see you next time around. Thanks, All right, buddy. On February 22nd, my wife and I attended the CSBA, California Striped Bass Association Crab Fee in Brentwood, California, which benefits the annual kids free fishing derby that CSBA puts on every year. CSBA is just a fantastic organization, and if you'd like more information on some of the functions that they perform during the course of the year, or you'd like to get involved, contact Jim Cox. We've got his email address at the bottom of the screen. Hey folks, I made a boo-boo last month in the January 12th hook tournament. Mike and Greg Shreve ended up second place in that tournament. They only had three fish, but they had a total of 19.91 pounds. Mike had a 1084. It's his personal best. He told me he caught it on a quarter ounce crawdad speed trap. And so I wanted to make sure that Mike got credit for that big catch. He said it was the hardest strike that he had ever got in his bass fishing career. So congratulations to him and his brother. Hey, just a heads up for you folks that like throwing rattle traps. On March 22nd, 2014, out of Tracy Oasis Marina, we're gonna have the rattle trap only tournament. I wanna stress to you folks that there is no mandatory meeting on Friday night, March 21st. It's 100% cash payback, $100 entry fee gets you in the event, $20 gets you in the big fish pot, $120 and you're all in. They're gonna pay back one in five, at the Tracy Oasis Marina on March 22nd. Put it in your calendar, don't forget. The Rattle Trap Only event is a black bass only tournament, five fish limit. For more information on this event, contact Kareen Flowers at Tracy Oasis Marina, 209-835-3182 or go to www.rattletrap.com. We're going to lift that a little higher. There it is. As you're bouncing around doing a little bit of pre-fishing, getting tuned up. I can hear the drag singing. For the Rattle Trap Only Tournament out of Tracy Oasis on March 22nd. Oh, good fish. Big one. Yeah. You will bump into some of the silver jailbirds that are bouncing around in some of your favorite large mouth ponds. I will grab her. <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice one. Got the painters. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, you got it? Yeah. There it is. Sweet! <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. I'm not baiting that sucker now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get everybody wet. He's Oh, here she comes. Here she comes, Dara. 
stay right with it. Stay right with it. Look at that slick behind her, Aaron. Look at that slick behind her. Oh my gosh. Come on, fish. Eat it. Grab your one with the shark. Oh, did she get it? Did she get it? Yeah, yeah, go over here. Hang on, girl. This is what keeps your dad up at night. That is awesome. Look at me. What's going on? That's a way to start the morning right there, girl. That's a good fish. Okay, and I'm going to grab him real quick. Yeah, there we go. Good. Oh. Perfect. Okay, you ready to do it again? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's. That's a good fish. Whoa. Oh. That was a rip bait. That's a rip bait. Oh my gosh. There you go. Don't pull on her too hard. That's a very good one. <laughs> nice. Up close and personal, what do you think? Dara, good one or bad oh. one? <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay. Oh, it's really big. That is a big one. There you go, about that far. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that guy with the poker grip. Just, okay. just pull the button. Three, two, one. Holy! Oh, <laughs> nice, <laughs> perfect. Good job, Dara. Good job, girl. Thank you. If you have any pics or videos of your big catch out here on the California Delta, please email Stacy at bobbybarrick.com and we'll try to get you in an episode of the Delta Bass Scoop. On behalf of westernbass.com and Fish Delta TV, I'm Bobby Barrick and we'll see you next nice, time Chief. on the Delta Bass Scoop. Ooh, nice fish. Yes. Thank you, Bobby. Very nice. Let's, let's see what you got going on there. Oh, yes.